What is up, y'all? This your girl, Mike is Chosen, and today I am back with another freaking video. And today, today I am coming to y'all with a QA and a um, for y'all to get to know me a little bit better. I just started doing videos without an introduction of myself. I went on Instagram and I told people to ask me questions that I could answer. Um, starting out, they was already going hard. Somebody asked me if I like coochie. I don't like coochie. Okay, y'all, so the first question was, am I in a relationship? I am not in a relationship. All right, next question. Um, what's my body count? My body count was four plus two now. Um, then they, this is the question where they asked me if I like Gucci. You ever dated a girl or thought about it? No. I never dated a girl. I never thought about dating a girl. Um, next question. Let me go back. Hold on. How old were you when you lost your virginity? Like, are you kidding me? I was in middle school. But I was with this person for a very, very long time. So, but yeah. I was young. Um, what's your favorite thing to eat? I am not a picky eater at all. Like I like to try different stuff. I really, 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 really love wings and fries. But you could never go wrong with a burger. Man, a tasty burger with a tasty sauce, bro, and a milkshake with the fries, bro. Like you could never go wrong with tasty. Like, why do people keep on asking me about? Okay, how do you feel about gay people? I don't really love. Y'all say hey to me. Oh! Okay, I don't really have nothing to say about gay people. Um, my biggest thing is you gotta do uh you you if you're not being true to yourself, you're not gonna be happy. Love yourself. If you love you and if you're happy doing what you're doing, that's all that matters. But I do say this, as long as you have a relationship with God, and as long as you believe in God and he knows your heart, as long as you're a genuine person and you have that relationship, hey, I don't care. I don't care. We could be friends. So, but yeah. How old am I? I am 21 years old. My birthday was February 25th. I was born in 2002. I'm getting old, y'all. It's getting bad. It's getting serious. Somebody said, what's the reason you got saved? I actually made a YouTube video on this when I first got saved. I, I told my testimony. Before I was uh, claiming to be a Christian, I actually was into uh, um, dark uh, black magic. I was dealing with black magic i was doing like witchcraft and different stuff i was into ifa and santa maria um different stuff so i had dealt with tarot cards and stuff like that and i was putting spells um when people i try to do money spells and different stuff and they do work sometimes but it is a consequence after you do all of those things you have to suffer some great deal of once I got rid of all those things and I wanted to like kind of let go of the witchcraft and stuff, it was like I, I started being attacked by uh, demons. <sighs> I know it sounds um, very typical, but this is dead serious. I started having dreams and nightmares like the witchcraft that I was doing started backfiring on me. Uh, they were using everything that I once used as a tool. They were using it on me. Uh, don't do witchcraft. Um, Jesus Christ is the only one and true Lord and Savior. So, yeah. Give your life to Christ, man. Hey, pet. Who is my favorite? I don't have one. Why does your engagement get broken off? Because we just wanted two different things out of life what made me want to start doing youtube okay so 
I was already doing YouTube. Um, I, I started doing my YouTube like in like 2020, but I kept on like, I wasn't like, I don't know. I was like, dang, this junk not gonna work. I'm not gonna blow up. And like, I still be thinking that in my head, like I probably ain't gonna blow up. Like, this is just something to do. I be trying to tell people like, start a YouTube channel. Like if I had a bunch of people around me, who are on the same type of time I'm on, who like dead serious about starting a YouTube and like we make videos with one another, we prank each other and different stuff like that. Like if I had them type of people around me, you know for a fact we'd blow up. You gotta do stuff on your own sometimes. But yeah, do you have any siblings? Yes. So I'm the baby on both sides actually. I have two siblings on my dad's side and I have three siblings on my mom's side. Yep, yep, yep. What do you do for work? Um, I was a caregiver. Uh, I was working at the care center. Y'all, it wasn't for the week, man. Um, name one thing that you regret. I would say dealing with the tarot cards, but that's what brought me to Christ, so I can't say that. I'm not letting people go when I need to, when I know it's time. That's my biggest regret. Okay, people aren't, y'all are boring, bro. Like, don't, why is you asking me what's my favorite color? My favorite colors, cause I have multiple, it's black, I love black. Black, red, and pink. Those are my three faves right there. Um, what's your body count? I already answered that. Uh, uh, do I still deal with anybody from my past? No. No, like actually dealing with it? No. Um, yeah, that's it. But we don't deal with each other like that. We're keeping it cordial, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I'm waiting on him. He don't, y'all, he don't want me, but I want him though. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay where are you from i am from Fernandina beach florida born and raised there what's my favorite shoe i'm i'm messed up about the sixes about jordan sixes i just like the way they built like this bad boy i was waiting on this bad boy to drop and I told y'all, red is my favorite color. Red and black is my favorite color. This, I needed this. I like Jordan 1s too, but the only thing is they crease so easy. And I hate creasing my shoes, so I can't really wear my ones like I want to. But these bad boys, oh my gosh, y'all see them? Man, go get the 206s, man. Tell us what it's like being a Christian at a young age. So I'm 21. I got saved when I was 20. And I, at first, when I first got saved, I felt like whenever people would be like, okay, you're saved. You, you, you young still, so it's gonna be stuff you wanna do. Nah, cause when I was young and I got saved, I still wanted to do this, and I still, and when they was telling me the stories, I was like, I'm never gonna be like that. That'll never be me. I, I'm, I'm committed to God. I'll never turn my back on God. But it then it becomes something that you don't do intentionally. You mean all of those things you say, and you, you really believe it, and then you be saved, and like, you still here on earth. So it's like kind of hard to not sometimes fall back into your old ways that you were once into like the things that you were doing before you were saved. You want to stay committed 
but it, then it's like, okay, you want to hang around people and you want to have fun, you want to go do stuff, but it's about the commitment and it's about you knowing at the end of the day how much God means to you. It'll all be worth it because you know where you're going to go if, as long as you do right. So, um, I'm not the perfect person. I'm not the best person at all. I shouldn't even be sitting here saying I'm still saved. I feel like I feel like I do not deserve to even say that. Even though you're young, even though we're young, it's worth it. Because we might fall short. You just waiting, you know? And eventually you're gonna get cleaned up and all of that is out the window. Anything that you have done once you get saved, once you go to him and actually confess your sins and mean it, you're forgiven. So don't worry about nobody. Don't worry about what people got to say. Don't worry about your appearance or none of it. Just be be yourself, bro. But people be so worried about the materialistic things in life. But really, the only thing that matters at the end of the day is what you do in this life that shows God that he matters to you. You can say, oh, I had the best car. You can say, oh, I had all the money. But when God say, okay, what you do for me, then what? Oh God, I was riding around in Maserati. You don't care about that. So yeah, man. Take that and do what y'all please with this knowledge. All right, so y'all, thank y'all once again. Make sure y'all stay tuned for more videos. Comment, like, and subscribe, man. Share this video. And Michael Chosen is out. Yeah. Robbing these niggas, shooting that nigga, watch that nigga draw.